What's going on everyone? ODC here and I'm back to another action figure review. Today's review, we're going to take a look back at the Marvel Legends series Skrull Troop Builder. This was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive uh, a couple years ago. Um, <laughs> Hasbro with an actual good idea um, and uh, they kind of dropped the ball a little bit and I'm going to get into why. Uh, Hasbro is one of those companies where it's got some of the smartest, dumb ideas I've ever witnessed in my life. Uh, but anyway, I digress. This is what you get. This is the packaging you get. You get it in a very simplistic troop builder box. This is a, I have been a big advocate of this type of troop builder box as long as it's coming directly from Hasbro itself. And I'll kind of explain why really quick. Um, these, this was sold, I believe for $16.99. Um, I don't have an issue with anything that's, that's the price point. I think it's perfect. I think the box presentation is perfect. Simple. Keep costs way down. Most collectors don't care about packaging. I'll say that they want the figure inside most figure, most out of box collectors. Um, men on card guys probably will disagree with me there. That's perfectly fine. But if you're into troop building, this is your avenue. $17 for a figure comes with two extra guns and two extra and two heads. That's all you need. You, you really don't need much else, especially with the specific scrolls. Um, if you start asking for extra hands and the price is going to go up to about 20 bucks, I believe, probably if, uh, that's what Hasbro would do. $16.99 for what you get right here, I think is absolutely perfect. Um, you don't need to ask for any more. It, yeah, the packaging, is it boring? Yes, but who gives a shit? It's a troop builder. So here's the packaging. There's side artwork, front artwork, very basic. Legalese on the back, who cares? Let's get it the hell out of here. That's all you need to see for the box. The figure itself looks really good. I'm actually really, really impressed with the figure. As simple as it is, this is essentially the scrolls look. I mean, you don't really need much else out of this. This is on the Sunfire body mold. Um, it gets the job done, done, not dumb, but done as far as articulation goes. Um, the extra heads, like I said, are a good touch. You can get him standing in a neutral pose right here. No issues or anything like that. And I think this is, like I said, a really good, dumb idea at the same time. Uh, <laughs> Good idea to announce a troop builder that's a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. I think that makes sense. But the dumbest thing that you did was not stock enough of these. And these figures are going for like $40 to $50 a piece now. They were $16.99. If you're a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, you should have more stock than what was given. I believe these sold out within like two about a two-day window. And they have not been back up on your website at all. So I, I don't understand within... These are scrolls. I'm sure a lot of people want more scrolls. Anyway, I digress. You can pop the heads off relatively easy. It's a nice smooth transition from the head poppage. Pop the other head on, which is the more angry head. And that's what it looks like right there. I think it looks pretty nice. Let's shed a little bit more light on that. Pretty nice for the most part, I want to say. Let's get a little bit more up close and personal with that face sculpt. You can see the ridges and everything. Looks very good. And then switching it around to the back of the head. Very smooth surface. Very matte finish for the top of the head. And it does kind of transition nicely into the collared piece, which is also a matte finish. So they actually did pretty good with the paint apps here. Um, I don't have too many issues with any of the paint app applications. Um, it's just that simply not enough of these were made. And that's completely just unnecessary if you're going to offer a Hasbro Pulse exclusive for a troop builder. Troop builders should be widely available. I, I'm, I'm sorry. If you're going to make it a Pulse exclusive, then stock your stuff. This is, this is I mean... <sighs> Hasbro themselves, if you're buying it from Hasbro Pulse, that's that's the source right there. They should have more than enough stock 
for people to buy more than within a two or three day window. I, I just, it just it seems asinine at this point that the, this company comes up with decent, good ideas at some, at, uh, at, at times, excuse me, as I can't talk, but it, they don't follow through. Here's the other head you can see. Really nice sculpting on the heads. And the fact that they haven't even decided to even come out with a two-pack, you could literally re-release this with the same heads and the same guns. Everything. I'm pretty sure these are new sculpts. These are not re reused. There's even a little bit of paint applications on the smaller handheld blaster. Looks very futuristic and very atypical alien type. Almost like Marvin the Martian type of a uh, a gun, which I actually like. It works, I think. A little bit of, uh, like I said, purple there. On this, it's just pretty much just a gray plastic. But it, this looks like a new sculpt. They have not reused this with anyone. There's even portholes for blast effects, stuff like that. They just haven't reused any of this. I, I, it, it baffles me that they haven't come out with a two-pack. Especially with Secret Invasion around the corner, with a lot of stuff like that, with a lot of emphasis, more emphasis being put on Skrulls, with that um, Skrull 2-pack, the Super Skrull 2-pack, and the Queen Skrull 2-pack that came out. We've heard nothing from the Skrull Troopers. I mean, for God's sake, at least give us more of these so people don't have to spend 40 to $50 a piece uh, in the secondary market. Anyway, like I said, you could see he was holding the blaster, the single-handed blaster. Here is the larger rifle that you can fit into his hand. Let me just force-feed that to him. I mean, I would have capitalized already. These, these would have been, this would have been not only a single-carded release when these first came out, but this also would have been a two-pack. So if people didn't want to buy them, well, that's the thing. I mean, Hasbro, even if they do come out with a two-pack, are they going to sell them still the, the set at essentially $16.99 a piece because you're still getting the same amount of stuff? Or are they going to sell them for $50 or, f you know, some ridiculous price? Um, although they did sell the Negative Man set for 40 bucks, So... Uh, I don't know. I would enjoy a two-pack of this. I, I feel like a lot of people need a second shot at getting this. It, it just doesn't make sense to me that they come out the shield, the shield two-pack. That that should that needs a re-release. You need like with especially Marvel Legends. I don't do too many Marvel Legends reviews, so this one to me is a, it's another cosmic character. It's another one that you know really scratches the itch for me. And they just have not <laughs> followed through with this at all. It just baffles me. Like I said, there's not really too much to talk about. I think both head sculpts are a double two thumbs up. The body itself, I mean, it's very, very bland. There's a little bit of like um, um, emphasis on the collared piece as far as some jagged edges. Almost looks like a, um, a court jester kind of collared piece, how they have that uh, kind of jagged. Um, the rest is just a plastic, um, darker purple um, for the legs. And then we've got like a, I don't know what you would call this, like a, almost like a like a, a deep, deep purple, bluish purple for the head, for the collar, for the glove, and for the leg. But it's pretty much all just a plastic color. Um, I'm pretty sure that the forearm is painted but the hands are plastic the lower torso piece is plastic for the crotch piece and this is all plastic too from the boot down um the really the majority of the paint work going on here is the face and that's really all you need for the troop builder i, I this actually has less paint apps than the shield agents do so i don't know i think this is a home run Especially at sixteen ninety nine, um, I know this is going on about two years old. This figure from the release, 
Um, I would I would hope that they would re-release this or at least do a two-pack. I mean, there's really not much else for me to say about the figure. Articulation's pretty basic. I, I mean, I can go through it really quick. It's your typical Sunfire body mold. The head can look up about that far. The head can look down. Um, the, the head can tilt a little bit. Let's see if we got some job turkeys. Oh, yeah, we got some gobbles up in here. So there's some gobbles. Tilt a little bit. Arms go up, down, full 360, and the arm butterfly joints, which is frozen on this side. There we go. We just had to loosen that up a little bit. Butterfly joints work really well. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel, hinge is lateral, um, and then no vertical on this side. Both hinges are lateral on the wrists. Um, you can do the splits nicely, better than sp some Spider-Man figures, which is a shame. Um, legs go forward, legs go back a hair due to the sculpting of the rear end. Uh, leg, uh, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee, boot swivel, pointy toe, pointy heel, ankle pivot, two peg holes, and a partridge in a pear tree. You can take a figure like, who are they gonna use here? You can take the red skull. You can pop this off. Let's see if it'll pop off. There we go. And you can pop this head on the red skull. Can I? You want to do it? You can pop this head on the red skull. Now you got a red skull scroll. <laughs> a red scroll. <laughs> there you go. Now you've got a red scroll. That's what you do. That's why you offer the four heads in the two pack. I feel like I'm doing Hasbro's uh, homework for them. This is not hard to come up with. I literally th took me 30 seconds to think of that. All right, as far as some size comparisons go, let's just uh, start off with a G.I. Joe Classifieds figure on the left in Duke. And then on the right, we've got a Valiverse Action Force Troop Builder on the right. Okay, next up, we've got two 7-inch figures. On the left, we've got the NECA Phantom. And then on the right, we've got the three Jokers, Red Hood. Okay, next up, we've got two female Marvel Legends action figures. We've got Madam Hydra on the left, and then we've got Quake on the right. All right, next up, we've got two Super Scrolls to go along with our Scroll Troop Builder. Uh, we've got the old, I believe, Fantastic Four Wave slash Hasbro 2-pack Super Scroll on the right. That's a mouthful. And then on the left, we've got the newer um, Illuminati Super Scroll that was just released with the Queen Scroll on the Spider Woman body. Okay, and last up, we've got another Super Scroll in the Fantastic Four Build a Figure Super Scroll Wave Super Scroll. <laughs> and then on the right, we've got the old Marvel Select two pack of the Scroll Trooper. So that you can kind of see a little bit of uh, the evolution in the skull scrawl, excuse me, trooper builders uh, from one company to another. But should they stock? I mean, let Hasbro know. Send them an email. You guys gotta. We gotta be more vocal about this. I know it's nice to be vocal on YouTube, but some of the smaller channels like me that have been saying this stuff for over a decade. <laughs> They don't, they're, I'm not really getting my voice heard. You know, send them emails, stuff like that. That's the only way you're going to get in direct contact with these people and let them know your feedback. Because a lot of these toy companies, especially Hasbro, are oblivious to what people want. They just guess, and when something hits, they just keep churning that one thing out. But uh, I digress. That's pretty much it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.